In this video, we will learn all about the hole tool in creating the different types of hole onto your 3D model parts. I'm sure you can identify some of the holes here. This is a countersunk hole, a normal hole, counter ball, spot face, threaded holes. Okay, so these are some of the tasks that we need to achieve in this video. Let's yeah, just go through the tasks. So first, we need to create three times diameter 16 true holes. One, two, three. Second, a diameter 32 countersunk hole about here. A counterball hole over the main feature here. A spot face of diameter 20 over here. A threaded hole of M24, one, two, three. And lastly, a diameter 20 blind hole right over the side here. So let's begin. Open up the part file named one holes.ipt. If you notice here, this is an empty 3D model with some sketches being done. Let's start with the first item. Where can I access the whole tool? Go to 3D model tab under the modify panel, holes. Click it. Automatically, Inventor will identify the three points that you have created within the sketch. So the placement has been automatically selected for you from sketch, and the center also has been selected. Next. Change it to a normal hole with a diameter of 16 and the depth is true. So under termination, change the distance termination to true all and press OK. The shortcut key for hole is H. So press the H key on your keyboard to launch the hole to dialog box. Let's go through a little bit of the dialog box. Under the placement, we have four options from sketch, linear, concentric, and on point. Below it, depending on whichever you have selected, they will change accordingly. So just go through and place your reference accordingly. Here, right in the middle column here, we have the drill hole, a counter ball hole, a spot face hole, and lastly, the counter sun hole. If I change it, the diagram over here on the right will also change, requesting you for some dimensions for the necessary features. On the drill point here, let me just change it to distance first so we can have this activated. On drill point, we are presented with a flat end and an angle end. So on default, as we learned in our previous topics, it's always at 118 degrees. At the bottom here, we have four more options. We have a simple hole, a clearance hole, very good for when creating holes for fasteners. We also have tap hole, this is your threaded hole. And lastly is the taper tap hole used for pipe. In this video, we only cover the first simple hole and the third threaded hole. So let's answer item number two to create a diameter twin 32 counter sun hole right over here. So let's change the concept here, counter sum, simple hole. To so change it to concentric, they will ask you for a plane, a starting plane. So click on this surface, as there, that is where the hole will begin. Concentric reference, click on this cylindrical feature. Now, this countersunk is true all. So, termination, true. 
the biggest diameter opening is diameter 60 by the angle 90 and the normal drill hole is 32. Review your options by rotating your view and if you're happy with it, press OK to apply. Now, let's create a countable hole that is also concentric about this particular feature. Click on hole. Instead of changing the placement here from linear to concentric, we can also do another method by clicking the starting surface and the curvature. Automatically, you notice here the placement has been updated to concentric. Now, we need to change from countersum to countable. The depth is 20, diameter 32, and diameter 60 with termination true wall. Great, that's correct. Press OK to apply. The fourth item here is to create a spot face that is linear placement. 75 about this length and 50 about this X length. Press H. Under linear, click the starting phase, one. Now click the first reference will be this H. They will ask you for a dimension. So over here, we place 75. On the second option, Click here and we enter 50. Remember to change it to spot face. And take a look here. Although counterball and spot face looks very similar, take a look at the diagram on the right. Let's study this. For a counterball hole, the depth of the bigger opening hole is from the beginning top surface downwards. For spot face, if you notice here, the true depth of the smaller hole, diameter 32, is from the topmost surface till the bottom. For spot face instead, the top opening is still very similar to counter ball, but the depth of the smaller hole, the diameter 32, starts from where the spot face, the, the, the first hole, the bigger hole ends, and then downwards. So that's the difference between a counter ball and a spot face. Now we have a spot face. That is true all diameter 20 with an opening 32 and the depth of that 32 is 3 mm. Press OK. Now, if you were to see your model browser, you notice that the end of part area here is actually placed a little bit too high leaving behind this work point one and sketch number six. Click and hold this end of part and drag it downwards. The work point one is now visible and sketch number sketch six is also visible for you to use. We will use sketch number six for item number five. So press H to launch the whole tool Automatically, Inventor will auto-select your tree sketch hole and the placement has been changed to from sketch. Change it to normal drill hole, but this time it will be a tab hole, a threaded hole. Under the thread type, let's change it to ISO, ISO metric profile with the size of 
24. Under destination, expand it further. You'll be presented with many numbers here. So the topmost selection is what's known as cost track. Anything lower than that is always is also known as fine track. So on default, if there's no track, uh, pitch being presented in your uh, dimension, we always assume that is cost track. Now, this threaded hole is a blind hole. So we need to change the termination to distance. The whole threaded area is 20 mm. And the total amount of drill hole, we can just place 30 to drill slightly more to allow room for tapping. You can also see the angle drill point here. Press OK to end it. Now, last, we create the diameter of 20 blind hole about this work point. So press H again. Under the placement, expand it further and select on point. Now they request you to select a point. So we select work point number one. And the direction is just placing this surface to you tell inventor where is the starting point. Now it's just a normal drill hole. Okay, drill hole. And it's not threaded, so we need to change it back to simple hole. Now diameter is 20 with a depth of 24. Press OK. That's it for creating holes onto your 3D model part.